Okay. Still working the, the turtle position, right? Last week. Turn this way. Last week we had the the chokes come up front here. Okay. Now we have this here. We we got to this position. We're gonna turn to the side. Boom. And we what we did on uh on choose was the uh, clock choke, right? Clock choke, and uh, if you try rolls, jump on his back and rolls that away. You're gonna do very similar than once the last one that we did on Tuesday. But you're gonna pick this one. We're gonna choose this position. Instead that uh, even my grip's gonna be the exact the same grip that we do for the clock choke, right? This hand here goes around the neck. Uh, but I'm gonna shoot straight for this position. Got it? What I need there is a space over the other side. Cool. As soon as I get this position here, a little different than we did yesterday, just gonna add something more here to make it a little easier for, for me to tow my leg over here, the same side of the, the, the hook. What are you gonna do? I have, as soon as I get this grip here, I'm gonna switch my bank, <coughs> my stance like this here. I'm gonna drive him a little bit to the side here. It's not enough to, to, to make him fall, but just enough to create a little bit more space for me and make him re react too. And once I have this, I'm gonna pull, and the same goes to the neck here. You got this, you pull and drive the hand. Now I have the grip already for the choke and the space I need to throw my leg over. Once I throw my leg over, the leg will cross like this here, go all the way down, cross his chest. I'm not feeling like a hook, okay? Goes all the way down, all the way down to the side here. This arm just maintain the hook because as soon as I roll, I'm gonna keep hold of this arm here, goes like this, and roll him all the way to the side. But once I roll here, see this leg already looking for uh, wrap his shoulder, and I uh, throw this leg over, you can even cross your feet. But what I want to do, it's uh, instead I get, get the conventional back take, right? You good though? Yeah. Uh, you take this arm out with my leg, you take this arm out with my arm here. Go straight for, uh, similar for crucifix position. But okay. First root is, is, is this part here. Arm over the shoulder, the one under, you throw the leg, get this. I drive this hand. Reason for drive this hand, I pull this out, so don't let it roll me that way, right? If I roll here, grab, grab, pull this thing to roll. You get the collar and switch your stance here, pull. Once I pull him a little bit towards me, I get the grip, got it? Now I'm gonna throw my leg over, go all the way, now, Take this side. Got it? Sure. It's one of those positions that I mentioned before. No, is it, it's not the conventional approach for uh, turn to the back, drive this hook, hook, uh, hooks in. It's nothing wrong with this. The position uh, like this, give a, another view for situations that you're gonna go through. Let's say that you just pass this guard turtle away from you. You have the open, two seconds open that I give to you to attack him instead of just establish side control, avoid him to turtle. Once you stabilize the back position, you have the two seconds position that you can apply him. In the transitions, know how to catch him. You know, a lot of times we know the technique, but you don't drill, get rusty, right? Because a lot of coordination come with this. It's not just learn the technique, the choke, of course, is very important, but how to roll, how to create that movement that it can come smooth. Like got to the side, kind of the same si situation. It's hard, like I said, if you don't find a way to trick him to get the scholar, it's not gonna be there for you. You start looking to uh, be more you know, the conventional part, be more methodical. You drive the hooks in, take his back and start grip fighting. Do you understand? Sure. I can shoot here, but again, it's, it's gonna be tough. When he goes under here, it's not hard to get this. There's not much you can do to stop, right? And at the same time, you don't want to commit too much of your, your, your disarm side here. Then I'll already attack him for the clock choke. If he's not, this one, this side, he's, he's going to wrap the arm, right, for, for roll. This side here is not a problem. You guys understand? Sure. But look how it's, it's exactly the same choke. You're going to end up in the same position. It's very confused when you, you, when you have uh, the same position, the same choke, the same finish, but a different setup because you're going to be going to mess up if you head. Go, but I have this here, that this grip, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna roll super tight because I need to move his body. We've done this, the same position shooting for the arm bar. For the choke that we're gonna do, you need to be very tight when you roll, even to flip him to the side. And you have to have the momentum in your favor. And pulling this here, is this here. 
here. You're gonna simply hold tighter in. The hands are already here. Now the same thing. I'm not looking for this. Let's say that if it, if it breathes on top, I can fit that hook there, but it, most likely you're gonna land it up like this here. The same position. Again, I roll with the, the angle that I'm looking for. No, boom. But depends how you react. I can see you end up with the full hook sand or even the arm exposed more for arm bar instead the choke. <coughs> Make sense? Yes, sir. This goes for your trade part, the way it's gonna react. This, oh, get the same side and the hook now. There's not the choke here yet, right? This arm is gonna choke him. You have this pressure and you step this leg closer and you're gonna land your butt here. <coughs> here. The good thing about use the leg at the angle yeah it's uh first you take his arm away from him the arm that he's gonna use to defend pull this arm out maintain then the hook why i prefer way more chokes like this have then the hook instead the the what you call the leg for the ball and arrow because you take one arm away from him right and uh, if you if i hold this arm here hold this one he doesn't have arm to defend the ball and arrow, you can take this one out with your leg, holding the leg around the, the, the arm, right? But not this one here. If your grip is about to break, because you commit too far with the, the, the choke, he, he's gone. He's going to move away. You understand? The only time that I, I like the ball and arrow, if you're sitting in the S-mount. That's the only one that it feels like, okay, this is super powerful. Any questions? Because he's prevent this, right? And shut the low room to the hook. It's very tight. You guys follow me or no? Yes, sir, sir. And if I fuse, I have this. Let's say that if I drive, if I drive my my, my arm here, it, it tight, tight, bring my elbow to your rib, tight. Yeah, it's going like this. I still can, I, I, I still can drag him. Don't stand like it. Once turn like a ball, he's going to roll like a ball. Don't stand. You can force him to move. Right? Boom. But if I have this, the GIF is this here. You guys do, you guys go like this, shoot the leg all the way across. If you don't uh, uh, all the way across, there's nothing wrong with that. Now you can, like, you can see the reverse trying to come from this, or if you've done the arm bar before, the different arm bar that I mentioned before is a machine pu push against his neck. Here if I can sit for the arm bar. That helps the, the throw too. Okay, one more time. The different from the arm bar, I don't wanna bring the arm bar, but just because we've done the arm bar before is this. I get more space, I have this here. Then force the head down, isolate the arm to fall to the side. That's the arm bar one. The triangle one, you throw the leg all the way across, right? Like you guys doing. Like this here. And you goes for the reverse, reverse triangle. What's that all? This one for the choke. Is this here. See if I hug the head here? No. Boom. So tight, force him to roll because the way I'm engaging my weight on him. Bring this just part all the way to me. Don't think that uh, just pulling this, you know, you're gonna move him. Or you're gonna have the shin crush his neck, or this leg wrapping for a reverse round. You guys, want to send the difference between yes, one sir. or the other? Yes, sir. Got it. Yes, sir. Let's go, guys. Bro. He's stuck on it. Yeah.